We're going to take a look at creating a cinemagraph, but first of all, what is a cinemagraph? Well, it is a video or image, depending on how you export it, where the vast majority of it stays still, and you've just got one element that's going to move. Right, the clip we're going to be working on is this one. Now, I've downloaded it from a royalty-free and a free video library, and it contains uh, that bit of footage. It's got this little bit of footage as well, as well as uh, this bit, and this is the part we're going to be using. Right, I'm going to back the playhead up. We're going to take it into this area here. Now, we're going to split it at the playhead, now to do that, I'm simply going to come over, just make sure it's first of all live by clicking on it. So you've got the white lines going around there. I'm going to come over to the scissors. We're going to click on the scissors. That has now split it. Clicking on this part, so we've now selected this part of the video. We're going to trim it by pressing delete on the keyboard. Okay, let's just take the playhead. We're going to move it right to the very start. And if I just grab hold of the playhead, we're going to move it into the video. And the part of the video we're going to be using is something like this. I just want that train to be in the station there. That's the part of the image we're going to be animating. I'm going to move it until I've just got the light trails of the traffic coming over the bridge into there. That would look brilliant. Right, bringing my cursor right to the end of the track. You'll notice the way it changes to what I can only describe as being Neptune's uh, spearhead. Get a little preview there, going to move it in. It's going to snap there to that playhead. That would be pretty good. Right, like the way this is looking. Clicking on it, moving it through. As we start to move it, you will notice the way the trains are coming and going. And I'm going to bring it into this area. I'm going to look for a train to be at the station in the same as we had with the start position. Going to take it into there, just waiting for that one to go through. That's position, spun coming into the station again. There it is. That will do nicely like that. Right, just moving it back and forth a little bit into that area. Once again, bringing my cursor right to the end. You've got that Neptune's uh, spearhead again. We're going to move it in. The reason we're using this method and we're not actually trimming it is if you want to move it on a little bit, if you want to make adjustments, you can. Right, now that we've done this, we need to duplicate this layer. Now, if you come over to the Layers panel, you can right-click anywhere on this area here, and you'll get a flyout menu with Duplicate Layer on it, or you can go to Layer, Duplicate Layer. Well, now, with both of these methods, it's going to bring up our Duplicate Layer dialog box, and we can put a name of our choice, and I'm going to call this what it's going to become, which is Still. Click on OK, press Enter or Return to apply it. You'll notice the way that our Still video, which is still a video at the moment, has gone right to the end of the track. We want this to be on top of our original video track. Now to do that in the Layers panel, we're going to click hold of our still layer and we're going to take it outside of Video Group 1 by lifting it right up till we get that solid line in the top there. We're going to drop it in to this area. It can be a little bit fiddly at times and in it goes. Right, if we click on it, we're going to move it into position like that. That would be good. Right, coming over, we need to rasterize it. You can right click from the flyout menu, there it is, or as we've seen before, if you go to layer with the layers menu, rasterize, and you've got video there clicking on it. Notice the way it has now changed color. You'll also notice it's no longer got that little video icon there, and if we click on it and move it, it is now just an image. Right, the first thing we need to do is to put a layer mask on our still layer. There it is. If I pick up the brush, I'm going to press B on the keyboard. I've got black as a foreground color. If I just right click, you'll notice I've got a soft edge brush and it's a 50 pixel soft edge brush. We can now click down in this area here. And if we go over it, you'll notice the way it's changing. I'm going to go outside the station as well to get the moving traffic. There it is. There's a train coming into this part of the image. Just down around there should be do nicely. Right, clicking on the playhead as we start to move it. You can see there's the movement we've got in our image. And if Just take it back to the very start. I've also got from the little gear cog, from the fly up menu here, loop playback. I've got this ticked. Right, let's just press spacebar to play the video. That's going to come through and we're going to see how it's going to look looped. And there it is. Looks pretty good like that. Right, so I've got a few little 
bits and pieces here. As I say, it was from a, a stock video library. I think it's probably taken through a window because you can see a bit of reflection here as well. But we're going to put in a new empty layer. This new empty layer is going to go directly on top of our still layer. I'm just going to click. We're going to move it into position and just extending it by using Neptune's spearhead again into position like that. We're going to pick up the spot removal tool. And I'm just going to go over that area, and just clean it up a little bit. So you can use this just as you would in a normal Photoshop file there. Great stuff. That looks pretty good. Once again, just press in the uh, space bar to see how this looks. And as it runs through and it goes from one track to the other loop in. Great. Right. I said about exporting. We can come to file. We can come down to export. We can go to save for web legacy. Now this is going to be a looped animated GIF. So the first thing we need to do is change it from JPEG here. We're going to go to GIF. Just waiting for this to load. It will, might take a few seconds depending on the file size you are using. Right now that this has arrived, it's well worth experimenting with some of the settings here just to see how it affects the file size. The file size, of course, is shown in the bottom left hand corner. The other important thing, if you want to loop it, is animation looping option got once or we have forever. Right, I'm going to go for ever. If we just move it into this position here, if we just click play, you notice the way it shows you a preview. That's looking pretty good like this. And through it comes. And I think the next track starts there. Great. Right, the other option you've got is to come down to preview. When you click on preview, this is going to open it into your web browser. And it depends what uh, type of web browser you are using. Once again, it may take a few seconds just to load. And there it is, it has arrived. And again, it's showing us a preview and there's all the information as well about the file underneath. Looking pretty good like that. Right, let's just uh, close this down a second. The other option I've got, oh, incidentally, just click save. You can then save it to your desktop, give it a name of your choice and click save, which is just off the screen. Now it's not, click save and there it is. Right, I'm gonna click cancel, I'm gonna click cancel again because if you want to do it as a video don't forget a video is just going to play the once if you come up to file again down to export this time down to render video now when the render video option opens you have a choice you can rename it here it's going to be a dot mp4 now this depends you've got the format here i've got uh, the mp4 or we've got quicktime which is going to be a dot mov i'm going to go for the mp4 i've got using the adobe media encoder the quality preset is going to be on high it is uh, 1280 by 720 and you've got the document size here as well click on the drop down menu this is going to be a hd 720p video and there's the frame rate and all the other information click render that's going to render the video and again you can output it to whichever folder you've selected in this case it's going to go to my desktop right so i'm going to click cancel to that there it is that is creating a cinema graph you can animate as many parts of the picture as you want to for example if you want to animate this part just make sure you're working on the mask clicking into this area as well just over the traffic lights because you can see those changing as i press the space bar and there it is Go on, give it a try. It's just something a little bit different. Hope you've enjoyed the video, but until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.